Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Maria Goretti. We pray in this Mass that we may become like her, that we may always strive to preserve the purity of our lives. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, you bestow the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin, Saint Maria Goretti in her youth. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for, his stead, for her steadfastness, 
so we too may be firm in obeying your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maid servants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some men wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, What is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Peniel. Because I have seen God face to face, he said, Yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Penuel, Jacob limped along because of his heat. That is why, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket, inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hear, can to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. From you, let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face on, walk, on waking. I shall be content in your presence. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out of the mute man, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today tells of an interesting story of an all-night struggle of Jacob with God. Buong magdamag na nakipagbuno si Jacob sa Diyos. If we try to look at the life of Jacob, we will see that all his life, he has been struggling. He struggled against his own brother Esau for his birthright. He also struggled against Laban to earn his wife, Rachel. All his life, Jacob was struggling against fellow human beings. But on this particular night, Jacob struggled against God. But the struggle with God, as we heard in our first reading today, was not meant to destroy Jacob. It was meant to change him. It was meant to transform him. That is why after that struggle with God, God gave Jacob a new name, Israel. The struggle with God changed Jacob forever. And after this struggle with God, Jacob never struggled with God again. He surrendered his whole life to God. He abandoned himself to God. Our gospel today also talks of struggles. We heard about the mute man who was possessed with an evil spirit. Just imagine the struggle of this man being possessed by the devil. And then Jesus struggled with the devil in order to cast him out of the man. Struggles, my dear brothers and sisters, are very much part of our life. Every day, we struggle. And the question that we need to ask ourselves today is, what do these struggles do to us? What have become of us because of the struggles we face each day? 
Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Maria Goretti, a young woman who was not alien to struggles. Even in her young life of 12 years old, she struggled against a 19-year-old man named Alessandro Serenelli who was trying to seduce her and was trying to violate her purity. Maria Goretti struggled in order to preserve her innocence and her purity. And because of this, Alessandro was angered and stabbed her 14 times and it caused Maria Goretti's death. But even in her deathbed, Maria Goretti not only forgave Alessandro, Maria Goretti even said that I want him to go to heaven with me. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to struggle. To struggle against evil in order to preserve the good. We need to struggle against lies, misinformations, in order to preserve the truth. We need to struggle against immorality, against injustice in society, in order to preserve morality and justice and righteousness. For the moment we give up struggle against evil and sin, then evil and sin triumph. Kapag hindi na tayo lumalaban sa kasalanan, baka kasama na tayo na dumadaloy sa kasalanan. Let us ask the Lord today to give us the grace to struggle every day. And let us remember that these struggles are not meant to destroy us. They are not meant to weaken us. They are not meant to crush us. Struggles are meant to transform us, to invite us to conversion. Struggles are meant to change our lives and transform our faces so that our lives and faces may become reflections of the life and the face of Jesus. Please stand. Through the priesthood of the new covenant, God brings the reconciling ministry of His Son to us. Let us approach the Lord of the harvest as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That more men may be called to serve God's people as priests, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations close to the gospel may be prepared and become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who work as priests, nuns, religious brothers, catechists, and lay apostles may inspire others to join them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions 
Let us pray for the people who need our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of the harvest, through our humble prayers, gather together your people. Grant us more workers in your mission and hasten the coming of the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Maria Goretti and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our, our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.